Hey, it's um, I'm Ninja here, and or oh, no, whatever you want to call me, and I'm going to show you how to make like the paper effects of our current YouTube background. And here we go. First, just get a new text layer. Um, I'll you I really like this font, Beavis New. It works well for it. So just make that is way too big and wrong color. <laughs> Great start, hey. Um, go. There. Actually, too long. We'll just go. No. Okay, and then. Well, then, if it's just not. With this, you want, like, the quality to be up fairly high on your document just because the textures and stuff you use need to be pretty good. So, just as a backup, I just always make a new thing. Use shortcut control J. Yeah, control J to make. Then hide that layer. Um, now I need to just select each letter. First, you want to rasterize it, and this is just a little shortcut. Click similar, similar, and it will select all the letters. Now you need to go to select, uh, modify, and expand. Do 15 pixels is a nice little amount, but my because I'm not on like a YouTube background kind of thing, I might go 12. This just depends on what document size you're using and stuff. Like, that's pretty good. But there, yeah, so I might just put it up a tiny bit more. So I'll go modify, expand, 14. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now you want to get your, put a colour in that's like, feeling white like that, get your paint bucket and create another new layer and just fill it in, then put another one, um, put the, just cover up all these add all little bits of there and stuff, just looks better like that. Now get a paper texture, this one will be in the description, I'll put a little download link up, I really like this one, just go copy that into this and that is huge, so scale it down heaps. Okay, that's about the right scale we want. Now you want to just hold down Alt on your keyboard and just select between the two layers. And that should, of course. Oh, it's because I had to transform. Now, yeah, that creates a mask like that. If you hold down Alt and click between the two layers, it does that. So now that's pretty much it. Then that's there like that. But I have stupidly moved it, so try and line it up like so. On this layer, the one that's underlined, which is like the master layer, put a drop shadow on. Just looks nicer, adds a bit more kind of effect to it. Just blur it out a bit because paper doesn't really stand very high or anything. Okay, now rasterize this as well, this text, and go filter. I like this. You don't have to do this. If you like it like that, then it's done. But I just like it when you also add a sketch graphic pen. Wrong color. I always do this. Okay. Filter, sketch graphic pen um, and then it just looks kind of nice just play around its settings until you most of it's b blacked in but there's some just like scratches in it they'll make that and then put a put the opacity down to about 80 80 to 85 and you could also just as an added measure to make it look really nice just put a um, Blur, Gaussian blur, and like at a really low amount, like 0.2 to 0.5. And that's it, pretty much. Then you can just lastly, so it stands out, get a really nice bright color, use this orange up here, and get my thing. Boom. So easy, looks great, works as pictures, text, pretty much anything. See you and please comment.
rate and subscribe the video for more tutorials and stuff.